Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so for today's video, I'm going to do a quick little haul video. Um, I haven't done a haul in a while, so I thought I'd just show you guys like some things I bought recently. Um, it's going to be a mix of like handbags and also um, things I bought from Target too. I just want to share them because I thought they were like super cute. Um, so yeah, I'll share you guys the Target stuff first and then I'll move into the handbags. So if you're interested in today's video, um, please do stay tuned. Also, for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an essay. However, all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection, and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you guys see these kind of videos, um, please do consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you guys like handbags and stuff, um, please do consider liking and subscribing, and you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag-related content. Okay, so the first items I bought are for my Switch, and I got a Switch for Christmas thanks to my friends, and I was really excited and really grateful that I got a Switch for Christmas, so thank you to them, um, but I did want to get it some accessories just to, like, protect it and stuff. So the first one is this, like, really, um, like, functional travel case. I was just like, cute. Like, it's not the cutest case, but it's very functional. Um, it's the, um, Switch, like, hard case. This was only $18, and I thought it was a really good deal. Um, I don't know. I'm just one of those people that, like, will Google, like, um, when it's, like, something I don't know, I'll just Google, um, like, top 10 X, Y, or Z. So, like, for this instance, I just Googled, like, top 10, like, best switch cases, and this one popped up, and it was only, like, $18. So, I went ahead and got this just because I felt like it was a lot more, um, like, durable, and I also, like prefer this one to be like a hard case um I did get the animal crossing switch so I was going to get like the matching animal crossing case but that one was more like a soft case and I didn't really like that so I exchanged it and got this one instead um so yeah I also like this one too because it comes with like a cute little handle so the first item I got from Target and the second item I got is actually this Pokemon game um it's Pokemon Legends of Arceus or Arceus I don't know how to pronounce it um but at first when I bought this game I thought it was gonna be like a standard like Pokemon game where like you beat like eight gym leaders the Elite Four and then a champion and then you build your Pokemon team um it is not that at all I did not read any of the reviews or anything for it so I just kind of bought it blindly um because I just thought it was like a new Pokemon game um but it is very interesting it is like an RPG so you play as like a main character and you do have like a, a team of Pokemon with you but there's no real like gym leaders or whatnot it just more of like exploring and stuff which I don't know if I like am explaining it well but it's really interesting um so far I've really enjoyed it um I don't know like I feel like I've only put maybe like an hour or two into this game but um so far I really enjoy it so it's not like your standard Pokemon like title but so far it's not too bad so I got this too and the last couple items I bought are from the Target Lego collection um they were 70% off at my local Target so I bought a ton of stuff most of them were actually gifts for other people um like my mom and then I knew some people that were having kids and whatnot so I bought them cute baby clothes um but I got a ton of stuff for me too well actually no it's like five things um but the first item I bought is this really cute sweatshirt um this is I think a woman's like sweatshirt but it's like the same shade of yellow as like a yellow lego block um so I thought it was really cute so I got my mom one and myself one too I think I got this like a double XL just because I love like really large comfortable oversized clothing um and yeah this is like, super comfortable I've already worn this a couple times I really like it um and it's like super cute and has like the cute little target lego um tag there and then a little lego man head um somewhere on here as well oh my gosh I like lost it okay right there so yeah there's that I also got some accessories too um for the collection so I got these two little pouches here this is like um the main like print I think from the collection this like really fun multicolor nylon print um which is in a ton of their clothing like some of the jackets have this lining so it's really fun it's like a super soft nylon pouch i'm already using this one to hold like receipts and whatnot so you kind of feel there's like paper inside um and then i also got this really cute pencil case too it's like red with like this really fun pink zipper i only bought this because it's like three dollars um i don't think i'll use it but i'll gift this to someone um that you know and then the inside too is really cute because it has um this pink or not pink but um the same multicolor like rainbow on the inside too so yeah, it's like, super cute Next is one of my favorite items from the collection itself, and this is really cute puffer jacket. Um, I bought this one. This is, I think, the women's one again, um, but it's a really fun multicolor um, puffer jacket. So it looks like like a sunset, and it says like red, pink, yellow, orange, and then red on the bottom here. 
Um, it's super comfortable and soft. And what I love about it too is on the inside, it has this really fun like lining that is in this like multicolor print, um, which I kind of wish this was a reversible jacket because then it'd be really cool if you were able to reverse it just wear it on this side because I think this is so fun and pretty. Um, and the cool thing too is that I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you can actually take off the sleeves too with like the um, hinge zippers and turn this into a vest. So like that um so you can actually take off this um like the not the handles but the um what are these things called the arms the arms of the jacket and turn it into a vest so i think it's kind of cool um it's super soft and warm as well and again it was like 70 percent off so i think this was like 70 bucks or 60 dollars originally but i ended up only paying like um 18 dollars so yeah super cute very last item I bought from this collection which I was really excited for um and it was really funny because at first I did not really like it until I tried it on and another person that was looking at the collection too said I should get it so I was like you know what I will take her advice and I will get it um it is this really fun multicolor cardigan um again this is from the women's collection and um this is like a really long cardigan so it's actually like um kind of like to my elbows no these are my elbows um my knees it's still like my knees that's that's like how long this thing is um, I'm like five seven so it's a really long cardigan um wow I really just thought my knees are my elbows wow that was really bad um but anywho um I got this cardigan because it's like really cute I love the colors on this one so it's like yellow on the arm and then a bit of yellow here and then pink with gray so I really love this side um I just wasn't sure about this part of the cardigan so it's blue on the side here with like this random patch of orange on the back and then um some red and blue here as well and then black panel I believe or purple I think it's black um on here as well so I wasn't sure about this half of the cardigan just because the colors were kind of like too wild um but when I did try it on I really liked it um so I do have a trip planned um pretty soon here so I think I will take this cardigan with me and give it a test run um so yeah I'm really excited about this one um and again it was 70% off too so I think I only paid like $10 for this so it wasn't too bad at all um so yeah it's super cute and um also the other thing too is that this didn't have any like closures um because it is just kind of like this basic cardigan so there's no like buttons or anything um but that wasn't like too bad about it so yeah there's that okay next is going to be a card case and I got this little one from Dillard's um it's actually a coach card case um and like the signature canvas print um but what I really liked about this one is actually the fact that it has like card slots in the back here um and isn't it that signature like um tan rust combination um so you have four card slots in the back and then a really large zip section right here as well and what I also really love about this card case design too is that when you undo the zipper instead of like like, um only opening it to here and whatnot it actually goes all the way down here as well so it actually is a really nice generous opening and on the inside it's just like a leather lining um and you can see too it's like this like burgundy red color um and I have like a standard card case in the signature print um but I wanted to go ahead and get this one just so I can fit all my cards like back here and then also um have this like larger zip section for change and whatnot um so yeah got this too and super cute okay next are going to be the hero bags and I'm not going to talk about like these too much just because I've already done um a review video on each of these bags so um this is the one I actually got first um I got this one first which is the hero shoulder bag in the color petunia um and I've done a review and first impressions video on this one so I'll tag it up here um but this one's a really pretty pink with um brass hardware and then I also did a video on this one as well and the same I will tag it up here um and this one is in the like canvas material with the really pretty mahogany leather trim um and I think these are such really cute bags I will say between these two bags I am using the pink one the most just because it is number one my favorite color um and the other reasoning is that I feel like this is more like a spring summer bag and obviously we are 
um, in the middle of winter with a snowstorm. So, um, I haven't really gotten the chance to use this one a lot, um, but I've been really, really loving this pink one. So yeah, just wanted to mention those really fast. The next accessory I bought is actually a small wristlet crossbody bag. And it's this one here. It is also um, from Coach. It is the, um, Kira crossbody bag and like the new tan truffle horse and carriage print with the petunia leather trim. And the main reason I bought this bag is definitely for like the color of this bag. Um, I really love this like bright pink petunia trim on the bag itself and I don't know I just think this color combination looks really pretty this bright vibrant pink against this really rich warm like brown. Um, I think this combination looks really good and I also do have a trip planned for the end of this month as well so I thought this would be a really cute little travel accessory to bring with me. Um, is really functional I think and super practical so it has you know like two zip sections on top here so I can definitely fit like a ton of items and organize it as well. Um, so there's that and then also this open middle compartment so I can stick my phone or something small in here really fast as well if I just need like hands-free for the moment um so I love that plus I just like the fact that it comes with like a wristlet strap and a crossbody strap as well I think that's really cool um I think I will do an in-depth review on this little accessory too just because I feel like it is kind of underrated um it's just like super cute and I don't know I just really love the little look of this bag too so yeah got this as well so the next bag I bought is definitely an impulse purchase, um, but also partly due to my friend Amy because she did a really good review on this bag and thoroughly convinced me that I needed to add this bag to my collection as well and it needed to be twins with her. And it is this little cute bag right here, which is the metallic pillow tabby 18 in like the silver and brass combination. Um, at first I really didn't think I needed a cute little silver handbag just because I'm not somebody who loves like metallic handbags. Plus, I already have a um, silver metallic bag anyways, which is like my Parker shoulder bag. Um, but um, when Amy did a review, review of this bag, it was like so cute on camera. And the way she styled it too, like a really chunky brass chain, I thought it looked really cute. Um, so I went ahead and got this bag. Um, and I also justified it too because, like I said earlier, I do have a trip planned for the end of this month um, to see twice. So I thought this was a very twice bag. So I can definitely take this to the concert as well. Um, and I think this is going to be really cute. Plus, I also think it would be a really cute, like, travel bag, too, just because of, like, its color is, like, a metallic, so it'll make a really good statement, like, day and night. Um, it's also a compact size, too, so um, it'll be perfect for travel. But, yeah, super cute, and I will also do a review of this bag later on as well. So, yeah, love this one a lot, and thank you so much, Amy, for convincing me. I needed this beautiful bag. And the last two coach bags are going to be the Willow Tote 24s and I ended up getting two of them. So the first one is this one here which is the signature canvas one with the brown um, leather trim and then the other one that I ended up getting is this one here which is the ice purple one in like the crock emboss with the brass hardware and I just think these two totes are so cute. Um, This is definitely again kind of like my style when it comes to like um, smaller tote bags. Um, I definitely love the fact that they have the two leather handles on top and then also a longer crossbody strap as well. Um, I just have them like tucked in the inside of the bag but they just connect right here on each side like so. Um, but these are just so freaking cute and I love them so much. Um, I've been using this one a lot recently and I've been really enjoying it as well. Um, I love the fact that it's like a smaller tote bag um, and I'm able to organize my stuff really well. Um, I love this little turn lock detail here on the front. It's like super cute and I also love the fact that even though this is a smaller size tote bag, Coach didn't get rid of like the middle zip section here. They still kept that. Um, so yeah, I'm really loving it a lot. I have some like stuff in here, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's just like a really cute everyday tote bag. Um, and I also, again, love this like super durable canvas material. And then here is the ice purple one. This one I probably got like a week or two ago. Um, but yeah, it is in this like really pretty light pale purple color. I don't know if you're able to see it on camera just because I feel like the light does wash it out a little bit. Um, but it's really cute 
and like a soft purple color and then I also love the super glossy croc too. I wasn't fully sure on the color and the croc effect but I think the two of them together like this looks really cute and the inside of this one is actually a super smooth leather um and it's like a dark bur burgundy purple as well. So yeah I will do a review of these bags really soon and do like a first impressions too um so hopefully I can get that by this week or next week. So yeah I um, wanted to share these. The last bag I want to share with you guys is actually um, a new like brand to my collection. I've never had anything from them before, but so far I'm really impressed. And it is um, this bag right here, which is the Telfar shopping bag, or shopping. I think it's shopping, not shopper. I think shopping. Um, Telfar shopping bag in the color black, um, in the size large. And I'm really excited about this bag. Um, I bought this bag, I want to say back in October during the third um, bag secure program. And I only knew about it because one of my friends um, messaged me about the bag secure program. And she was like, hey, um, I don't know if you're into Telfar, but um, they're having their bag secure program again. So she was able to get hers in the large black as well. So we are twins. Um, and thank you to her for sending me that link. Um, but I also did get one of my other friends a Telfar shopping bag as well in the medium size. And um, well, I'm not going to say the color because I want her to be like somewhat like um, surprised. Um, but I did get her the medium shopping bag as well. And that one's actually a little bit smaller than this one um but this one is really big um it is one large um black tote bag that is a like magnetic closure on top so it has like two top handles and then the um longer shoulder straps as well and when i first got this bag i used it for like maybe two weeks straight it was such a great bag for um work and whatnot um just because it's super big and spacious and super lightweight as well so i'm really impressed by um its overall practicality and also it's um like durability too like it's actually a really good tote bag um and the material i know itself is like not leather but i feel like overall it's done really well um here's what the bag looks like on the back and then it doesn't have any feet on the bottom but yeah um just want to show you guys this one really fast and again i also will do a review on this bag as well um and this one i actually have used a little bit more um than some of my other bags so excited to do a review for this one here. Okay, so that's it for today's video over all the items I bought recently. Um, if you guys have any questions about the items I shared or um, just anything in general, just leave a comment down below and I can try to help you out. Or you can also message me on Instagram as well. I feel like I reply back a lot faster on Instagram, so you can message me there. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, hopefully you guys like today's video. Um, to consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Um, but other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day and stay warm. Bye!